Hello and welcome back to the Voxel Box. I'm Maxi, and today we're in Stargix Voxel. Voxels being areas you can build in 256 by 256 on the Voxel Box. Each person gets um, a Voxel, you can sort of rent them out. And I did a small build here. This is our palette that we're going to be using today, or that I used to build the build. We've got a really nice new texture here in 1.2.3, I believe, in the Voxelbox Palcyon pack. It's like um, uh, wood with these metal uh, rings around the top and bottom. Very nice. And we've also got the redstone lamp texture. You in 1.2.3. Very nice there. You can power it with a redstone torch. Like so. There we go. Very nice. Very rustic. And steampunky in some ways. We've also got the, um, this texture which goes very well with wood. And then that there. So yeah. This is Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, Maxi's rendition, I guess. It was done in a few hours. It was um, it was to use the world height because I hadn't seen a build that had gone all the way up to 256 before I built this. So I thought, why not? What's the tallest thing I, thing I can make in Minecraft um, that will take up all the height? So Jack and the Beanstalk goes to the clouds. I started with um, these wheat fields, which are done... How are these done? I think I covered them with uh, wheat and then the... I think I tilled the earth actually and you know how it automatically sort of um, turns back to soil and then grass after a while? I left it doing that um, and then put the wheat in to make this sort of sparse um, random pattern effect which looks quite good from the side because you know it looks like a full field but if you go in you've got patches like in a normal um, an all field it wouldn't maybe this is a bit too sparse but yeah you know got so we've got two wheat fields very simple this one's more um, dense obviously Got a gate on the side so you can get in. And then, yeah, this was built from a few reference images from Google. Google Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, Jack's house, Beanstalk, Jack and the Beanstalk. Just to get a few images, we've got um, a pile of rope or wood or something. Um, some, some wooden. Uh, drinking stand, I think. Like, you know, the trough. Or, um, I don't know, a gate or a fence. Something in the field. Out beside the house. Um, there's a rock there, just to make it more dynamic. Um, here's Mr. Moo, or his remains of Mr. Moo, the, the cow that Jack traded in for the magic beans. Um, yep, the, uh, the buyer obviously didn't like him, gave him back. Here's the beanstalk that grew from the seeds that Jack threw out his window, from that window. So he threw the beans down here and they grew into this magical beanstalk. Um, let's have a look at the house, the cottage. I think it's... Uh, Jack's grandma, or the auntie. Mexi's beanstalk is named. Um, yeah, so we got flowers. It's quite quite cartoony in a way because of the roof. Roofs make a lot of difference to builds, especially if you build them big and tall and uh, sort of dynamic. Builds. Um, I see a lot of builds that 
have very small roofs and they only go to the edge of the wall. Like they would stop here and then they would be at a very uh, shallow angle up to the middle of the building. Which isn't really realistic. I mean some modern buildings these days have very flat roofs but in Minecraft you don't see a lot of very good modern buildings like the especially the Palcyon pack I guess um, you could say is very it's very uh, rustic and uh, old-fashioned sort of wood steampunk medieval in some ways so high slope roofs really complement the texture pack I feel the door is quite a lot bigger than normal Minecraft door size. I just wanted, this is how it looked on the reference image, so I just wanted to get it as, uh, I just like the uh, the large door, I guess. Um, various window sills with shutters, using doors as shutters in this case, which work quite well actually, because they look quite good from a distance at least, you can't really tell their doors. Around the back we've got a few bits of storage, some barrels, it's quite boring around the back. And then we've got the chimney, which works quite well with the uh, sort of grey and on brown, grey on beige colour. Quite nice. There's a few textures that we could have used for this, including this stone texture. That was a possibility, but I felt it was too dark because the house is quite light and I wanted to keep it... Uh, bright and, uh, you know, bright and cheerful, not too dark. Um, we could have used the normal stone texture, which is this as well, but it didn't look very man-made, and chimneys are quite often man-made. Well, yeah, they are man-made. <laughs> um, you can't get a natural chimney, so they're going to be made out of bricks. And this is a really good brick texture, which is very similar to the stone. It's uh, stone bricks, I guess. And there's a little accent on the top and the bottom. Just to seal the texture in. Um, cobwebs of smoke, again. You better know this by now. You better be using cobwebs of smoke if you're a builder, because if you're not, then you're losing out on a great transparent block texture. Uh, grass as well is really good for uh, making um, bare grass, bare flat ground more enjoyable to walk through. Um, in a lot of cases, if you want it more overgrown, you can just use bone meal, which is the pipe in the Palcyon texture pack. There it is, down there. So inside, I bet you're all waiting to go inside. Shutters, a uh, little step, works quite nicely. You can't actually get out here, which is quite nice. Bit of uh, health and safety with these half slab blocks so you can't trip and fall and kill yourself. Um, drawers on the wall, because there isn't much space in here. I wanted to keep, keep it quite open. I mean, this is uh, just, a, just a quick interior. Got um, some kind of bed, sofa here. Um, a workspace area and a nice fire. Love this painting in the Palcyon pack. Tools, too wide tool painting. A nice fire using uh, using iron bars as a uh, fire guard. I've got this inlaid chimney. And then upstairs. Again, you wouldn't have very you wouldn't have metal ladders in uh, Jack and the Beanstalk's time, I think. But it, it would just have to do for now. Um, ideally, this would be a wooden texture, but unfortunately, the only other um, texture would be vines, I guess. So, yeah.
which wouldn't look very realistic inside of a house. Um, ideally, you would, you would have you would have stairs, wooden stairs in in the house, but I didn't put them in for some reason. Don't ask. Anyway, we've got this nice balcony over the uh, kitchen, some bookshelves, some drawers, another bed, two beds up here. That's all really. A few paintings, just very simple. Um, this is quite nice. I like the door, the button, like a handle. Right, so here's the beanstalk. It goes from Y value 30 right up to Two forty, two forty one, and here is the giant's house in the clouds. This goes up to two fifty six. You can't place anything on top of there. Got these large lamps, so as you come off the beanstalk, which isn't actually climbable, I haven't made it climbable. Um, Mainly because it's a creative build and Jack sort of wraps his arms around the beanstalk, I guess, to climb it. Which you obviously can't do in Minecraft, you can't. I guess I could put vines up here. That's, um, that's probably a good idea. Although vines do grow everywhere and just ruin your build, so... I don't know. Got a nice cobblestone path. Um, these lamps are obviously oversized because they're like giant size um, making good use of this block as well I'm not actually sure why this isn't textured like the uh, original wood texture it might get changed in a future update of the, of the texture pack I hope it does because um, or even this wood might get changed to that color because that's a really nice color actually isn't it it's like a bit orangey this is a bit more red and mauve. I, I tend to prefer this um, light wood texture in some cases. I don't know. Anyway, from a distance it works. Um, all these clouds are done with the blob brush with the voxel sniper. Um, and splatter ball as well. Splatter ball brush on a small growth percentage. Just to give some dynamic quality to it so it's not all balls. Then we go inside. It's quite a large house, obviously, because it's a giant's house. Giant's door, one block higher than normal sized doors downstairs. Um, and yeah, I didn't have much space up here. Um, as you're going up, I didn't. Mm, I don't know. I just like the size of this island. I just made the island this size and then tried to fit this house on it. Um, I guess it could have been bigger for an ogre. But yeah, we've got a kitchen area. Um, using a ladder as racks. Some kind of coat hanger. Here's a big chair. Bray an ogre, a giant. And the golden goose. Golden derpy goose. For Jack. And then upstairs we have a giant bed. This works quite well because you got the um, the blue shawls on the cover over the bed. Bed post, I guess. A leg. Um, drawers underneath the bed. So I'm going to desk. And these are raised by one block, so you have to actually jump up. And it creates a nice effect as you jump up. It looks like the bed is a lot bigger than normal size beds. You know, a few blocks big. And also got these nice, very nice windows. I love this new uh, glass pane. It's really nice for insetting windows. And a nice view outside. 
So there we go, that is Jack and the Beanstalk. A small build built over the course of a few hours. Check out the Voxelbox videos channel, I'll link it right here on the right hand side. I've been doing a video series called Voxel Briefs, which showcases various members' builds within their voxels uh, in brief videos. Um, I've got a five video series out with Nov showcasing some of his vehicles that he's built. And if you're looking for additional building videos, make sure to check out Shin's channel. He's doing a Let's Build series at the moment. Click the box on the left to go to it, in which he's taking plans from his viewers to produce a city district. It's a really great series, and there's lots of tips to be taken away from it, so it's definitely worth the watch. Anyway, that's all from me, and I'll see you next time.